You bite one and then you bite the other to get that mix of flavors. Mm. But uh, we're gonna get a mix of flavors here. Diddy versus Sora. Honestly, two very polar opposite characters in terms of playstyles. Yeah, definitely. But we are also going to be seeing quite a bit of combos coming out from both of these players. But right now, Helper with the banana in hand, that's a huge resource out of the hands of Diddy. Whereas Sora, you know, one of the things when you're fighting Diddy Kong, or really any item character that only has <gasps> one no! item, that's Helper unfortunate. Helper looks so confused. That's so As JDC unfortunate. And uh, KB would say, uh, stock canceling. Stock canceling. Damn. We got to make that a thing. That's so funny. But I mean, like, when you're fighting a character like Rob or Diddy who only has one item, if you if you're playing a character who has really good specials that can kind of play the game for you, you're in such a better position to just hold on to that item and completely take away that resource from your opponent. Yeah. I mean, obviously. Sora has the spells. Fireaga, Thundaga, Blizzaga. All very good things to help stuff the approach. Even yeah. with banana in hand. Oh, yeah. No stock canceling here. Sora with no Sora with no normals can still kind of play his entire neutral. Hey, if I can be a mage in Kingdom Hearts 2, you can be a mage in this game. Oh boy, here we go. Whoa. That's shield pressure coming out. The banana does land, but unfortunately Helper's still airborne, meaning that he he just uh, got okay. deleted! All right. Whoa, it's still happening! <laughs> oh my god! I thought the barrels were gonna come and clutch there. I think that's the longest I've seen the barrels go for without Diddy Kong. Barrels just having a mind of their own. Barrel rolling to death. EJJ right. right now in a pretty bad spot. One stock to Helper's three, and Helper only at 91. It's gonna have to find this first stock relatively quickly before Helper can rack on too much more extra credit. Oh, okay. The banana really stopping the approach there. EJJ just flying. What? Ooh, qu quick little parry on the banana as well. I love this movement, the Z catching on the banana, making it a threat for EJJ no. recovering low. Oh. All right, he's going to be living that F smash and flying right through the Thundaga. EJJ with another chance at life here in game one. But mm, no one hasn't he's still that fine. Yet. Okay, excellent. All right, burning him on your way in, but EJJ's got to find a much more meaningful hit here. Looking for the down tilt on shield. Helper adjusting yeah. his seat after the throw. He knew, pack it up, next game. Every single time that EJJ was like flying to the blast zone, he would like brace for impact. <laughs> it's okay, it was working out. That last stock he like lived quite well. But I would say that EJJ really struggles without the banana in this matchup. All right, let's see here. Oh, I have to know how many frames. Goodbye! Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. <laughs> Just so two frames. Hold right on. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay, Chad, yep, do you let us know. All right, one, two, yeah. two three. three. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Just, oh. just a little, Dang. little bit. The last traces Four. of Diddy Kong. On, <laughs> after hit, <laughs> oh. one, two, three. Crazy. Really 2.5, you know? Yeah. yeah. This is a generous awesome. three. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so with a good JV, not not JV two, JV one. Nah. No, just a just a three stock. Just a three just stock. A three stock. But hey, that's all you need to move on in brackets. EJJ kind of considering his options here. I did see him hovering over Sephiroth for a little bit, maybe feeling a little bit stifled by uh, Helper's item play, but he is going to be sticking it out with the Diddy Kong. We are still in best of five territory, so EJJ has the time to kind of mess around and experiment. Oh, Ooh. playing a lot more patiently here. Okay. Good right. monkey flip. Helper being able to convert. Oh, no. EJJ shielding a lot more, which I think is a pretty good plan here against all these spells. Yeah, and we're seeing a lot less banana usage. EJJ's really only pulling it out when it is safe to do so, not really wanting to put it back into the hands of Helper. Because honestly, Helper with the banana, extremely scary in game one. Yeah, I feel like Helper does uh, move up a few tiers from that. Okay, here we go. I mean, especially Start if you've got stage. such a combo-heavy character like Sora, Giving them such a good combo starter like Banana, you'd never want to do that. Clean, but not enough to kill. Okay. 
good use of the uh, peanut gun here. All right, what are we gonna see here? Can punish that regrab. Now with Bulzaga online. Not even Firehaga. Okay. Oh, trying to go for another burst option. Gets the banana once more. Are they gonna get down? All right, Banana kind of keeping EJJ a little bit more safe. I'm scared every time he's about to jetpack into the Thundaga. I, I think EJJ just saw his life flash before his eyes. He's like, not again. Never again. I mean, he's been doing it a couple times. He's he's a extremely brave soul. That was a brave up smash. But finally clenching out that first stock. Yep, finally catching Helper. Floating around his airspace just a little bit too much. And now EJJ, with a stock lead, gets to find this extra credit. An amazing uh, conversion there from the throw and getting a clean 41% on Helper. The Helper absolutely no slouch, trying to put them back off stage. Not going for the banana again? Yeah, Helper kind of leaving that one be, wanting to... Uh, Wanting to try and close out EJJ's stock, but getting caught between a rock and a hard place, EJJ Whoa. was able to make it out with both. EJJ's just camped in the sky. All right, once again, setting up the same situation, forcing Helper to grab the banana with what the a dash attack. Flip. Okay, but all right, the really good mix-up. first mix option, just, there's no reacting to that. Diddy Kong just really able to isn't. kick you from that far away that soon. Oh, and down wow. tilt into up smash. This is absolutely looking like EJJ's game. A complete turnaround from game one. The biggest difference has been that EJJ has been using their burst options to the best effect. The dash attack whenever it's safe, have holding onto the banana just for when it's the right time. And even just like the monkey flips, switching between the grab and just the fly through. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. This banana is getting so much mileage. That is the MVP right there. Right. They but bought that banana like two weeks ago and it's still living. <laughs> Unheard of in banana time. Absolutely not. All right, Helper, though, finally firing back with the back air, putting himself on the board. But just like you know, the Good. reverse of game one, he's at 107 EJJ with a fully fresh stock. Oh? And that is going to be a game Good two. Good ledge trap. All right. So how can we see Helper adapt in this uh, game three? I mean, we we definitely saw the adaptations coming out from EJJ, just taking much better control of his resources, making sure that Helper was not able to, you know, put the screws to him. But <clears throat> wow, yeah, the neutral getup. He wasn't doing a lot of neutral getups. Instead, just going for like, uh, you know, getting on stage with a spell or something. So that was that was a really good hard read. All right, Helper bringing us right back to small battlefield. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And if it is, sometimes don't fix it. True. All right, back into this neutral. EJJ once again being the aggressor there with the dash attack, beating out Helper's own. Helper right. trying to find you know, a meaningful hit in this neutral, but just hasn't oh, found no. it. This monkey flip. Yeah, he's not happy he, with that. Yeah. Yeah, I think what's going on is that he's approaching with shield, which would be safe with another character. And we're starting to see maybe a different approach option with that neutral air because it does last a long time and can't stuff out a monkey flip approach. I mean, it can definitely be a frustrating move. Like, you're telling me that this burst option can be a hit or a grab at any point and there's just no reacting to it? Yeah, Helper doing the zap face just disgusted. Yeah. And that first off was disgusting. Only 20%? Helper really needs to readjust here. Yeah, and even, you know, if Helper is able to stuff out the monkey flip with the spells, EJJ's movement right now, and just Diddy Kong in general, so difficult to pin down, and sometimes you just get, like, barely clipped by the banana, and suddenly it is EJJ's advantage state. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. It's fine. It's, it's Helper. Kingdom Hearts. It's Helper. <laughs> Okay. Helper has never SD'd in his life. I never. have no idea you're what you're right. talking about. All right. Okay. Oh, and keep the pressure. What? Interesting. All right. All right. Maybe a higher jump can uh, stop this monkey flip. Okay. I guess the banana. What do we see here? All right. Yeah. All right. EJJ not able to get the banana up in time for that ledge trapping sequence, but still able to find it a with Helper punish. trying to make his way into center stage. Sonic Blade just not safe if he can't land on platform. And I love that EJJ 
isn't really committing to any sort of ledge trapping. We know Helper does love to plank quite a bit with Sora, with the Thundagas, with the Fire Agas. But wow. if EJJ doesn't commit, he's not getting caught by that. But he is going to be caught by that forward smash. I don't think Helper's going to get away with that too often here. I mean, it's just a raw forward smash. I'm good grabbing the banana. We'll see what he can do with this. Yep, this really was kind of Helper's win condition in game one, was taking control of the banana, but EJJ slipping right through all of the spells. So difficult to pin down. Yeah, as a slippery as a banana. True. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Jinx. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> all right, here we go. And what are we going to see here? Yeah, Helper is still approaching with shield. Uh, just not really feeling confident to make the space with spells just because of that insane burst movement that Diddy has. All right, but Helper using their burst movement as well. Oh, Whoa, okay, what a just good wave. Barely charging just a little bit too long. Helper able to make it out of there. That could have been the game. But finally, catching EJJ just swinging a little bit too close. They do have Thundaga, so if they can get them off stage one more time, they could let it rip. And hopefully it'll catch the... Oh, Ooh. no. Okay, yeah. EJJ calling that out. All right. Was not expecting the high recovery. Lozaga. It feels like... Beautiful. It feels to me like EJJ's win condition right now is just this sort of passive play because... They don't need to approach. Yeah. They shouldn't I mean, approach. Yeah, just hold banana in hand. Or shield and up smash. Yeah. Hold banana in hand, get helper to you know, react to something with the banana and just whiff punish. Sora does not really have the, um, you know, the, the horizontal burst movement. Like he's got, okay, he's got Sonic Blade, he's got the spells, but EJJ has just been playing around the spells so well that Helper has not been able to find that space along the stage. Right. I mean, again, those burst options from Diddy just getting in and staying in. This is best of five, though. So mm -hmm. Helper can definitely bring this back. At least to a game five. We may, in fact, be seeing a game five. Hello? Falco. Non-magic Falco? I didn't know Helper had a Falco. I don't. I, you know what? I... I, I will believe in the Helper <laughs> Falco. production is confused. I will so, believe in like, the Helper Bird. Helper did play Falco for a little bit, but, like, outside of Star, I would say, who, 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 does, who does Helper really play? It's like Diddy Kong and, yeah, Falco, yeah. I guess. Like, Let's see eh. here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll see if this uh, adaptation helps. Helper not too pleased with that uh, first interaction there. Yeah, and I mean, honestly, I don't blame him. It really felt like EJJ was playing the character matchup so well in those last two games. I I don't blame Helper for wanting a change of pace, but... Right. Falco, the... though, definitely a character that is very well known in the NYC scene. Like, Wolves and Falcos, you have to know how to play those if you're going to play in this tri-state mm -hmm. area. And as we can see there, clutching it out, still a repeat of the last game here, only 18% on EJJ. I, I really do kind of have to wonder what Helper is looking for in the character-to-character -character matchup. Like, you know, what does Falco do that Sora cannot? I would say two things. More consistent um, combos to get that rack up that damage and the reflector. The reflector definitely helping. And I mean, just having these like big sweeping hitboxes to potentially catch, you know, the the burst movement from Diddy Kong. See? Alright, right there. The <gasps> No. <gasps> okay. Barely just making it back, but you'll love to see it. From Helper. No. Okay. Yep. Down to la possibly last stock of this tournament. EJJ still sitting on three stocks. Helper. Oh, I can see. The reflector could catch the barrels. Helper kind of shaking his head, shrugging his shoulders. I don't know. I, he no. might just be looking for, like, you know, what else can I get in this game for? And it's, it is unfortunately not very much as EJJ with the easy down air on the Falco Phantasm. And he's going to be moving on into Losers Finals. That was so cool. Honestly, I was not expecting that down, that, that, that spike. So good. So, so good. No, no, EJJ just playing so well. It was definitely an interesting thing to switch characters from Helper. And I do think that he was hoping at least for, like, listen, if, uh, Devil May Cry 1 music? Hell yeah. Let's True. go. 
anyway, so yeah, no, EJJ definitely looking like a final boss here, as Helper just didn't really have an answer there. Yeah, that yeah, far that out, so not going to be snapping to ledge. And then it's going to be EJJ moving on to fight John Numbers in Losers Finals, uh, which this is, in fact, a revenge match. John Numbers being the one to put EJJ into Losers in Winners Semis 